Today we're gonna to talk about getting started with your roof tube. We've got three types. Classic, which has threads, large mouth, and then we have the new Econo tube. We recommend the large mouth or the Econo tube for any mastics you can do this with. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. For thinner materials, we recommend the Roof Tube Classic. It's threaded in with one of our tips. Great for coatings, primers, fastener grade, really anything that can pour out of a bucket. We have an assortment of tips from small tips all the way up to extra large tips. Our tips are all interchangeable. I highly recommend don't tighten them too tight. Two or three turns at the most. You'll be tempted. Don't do it. Ultimate control. Closed. Open. Closed. Open. Closed. Don't screw these down too tight. Jeez. Don't worry. Just in case Hercules on the crew wants to show off, Panic Channel works will work just fine. Note about sealing fasteners. Whoa. Goal is to get to a place where you can draw the material without taking a tip off. You might need to experiment with different tip sizing. For example, you might need to open things wide up and then as you take it out of the pail, you shut it off. That way, you don't have material dripping on your roof. Then once you get started, you can open it up or gradually do so to get the exact right perfect pacing. Longer tips will have a tendency to draw kind of hard and slow. However, I do like them, they're more controllable when you're doing fastener grade material. I found each material to be really different. Urethanes are different than silicones. Silicones are different than acrylics. Butter grades are even different than fastener grades. So give yourself time to try some of the different tips out, some of the different sizes. The roof tube comes pre-lubricated and pre-tightened. Because of that, sometimes the very first draw is a little stiff. If it's really stiff, grab a hold of that tension nut, get a nut driver, 7 sixteenths and a few short little pops. Nothing too. Yeah, I know I'm still using the DeWalt. All you haters out. If you find yourself mid job needing lubrication. <laughs> That's my favorite brand. Roof coating guys. For vertical and horizontal seams, I highly recommend either the large mouth tube or the Okana tube. Both will work great. Chip brush can really make things easier. All right, so. I've got my full draw. That's a half gallon of material right there. This is the large mouth tube again. If I'm doing a field seam, what I do is I press this down and I start to apply some pressure to the rod. As I'm applying that pressure, I can feel the bottom of the roof tube start to slide and lift off the roof. And you can see how fast I can go. This is a half gallon of material. After you've done the math, you ought to know roughly how wide of a spec your manufacturer, in this case, this is Aldo's uh, silicone. That's, this is their mastic grade, Aldo Seal 99. You ought to have an idea, this is a perfect hat. If you get a perfect draw, it's a half gallon of material. You ought to be able to do the math and know how many lineal feet of seam you should be able to do with one draw. So what I'll do, if I've got a big job going on, I'll actually set up several buckets at intervals so my guys can go, they'll draw it, they'll apply it, then they'll get to the next bucket. They know that's where they should be fully extruded to. They'll draw the next one, and then they'll keep going. The Econa tube is similar to the large mouth with the exception that there's nothing at the bottom. Free fall! No tips, I think you'll like it. You do have to apply things a little differently. Check it out. Draw is very similar. Yes. 
you're going to be almost straight up and down. It's not quite as comfortable as the largemouth, but it still works great. You're going to push down on the rod. You're going to float things a little bit, and you're going to keep this tube almost at a perfect 90 degree angle. Now, this does take a little bit of practice. Let's do some fasteners. So that tube's a little tight. So I'm going to get into the tension nut. I'm going to back it off just a tiny little bit. Gallon material. I'm gonna try to wipe this off really good. And then I'm gonna put my tip in. And remember, not too many turns because it gets snug pretty quick. So one or two turns, and then boom, you're good. Here, I'm wide open. This particular material is pretty thick, so I don't really have to close it. I'm gonna keep things wide open. I'm gonna push down until I see some product. Oh, too much. Getting started is always a little iffy sometimes. You can see here, some little stringers there. But in all, in all honesty, most of the times I'm doing this when I'm starting, I'll get stringers and then I'll get my pacing down and things are really clean. Thanks for checking this video out. Uh, we're always trying to improve our product. Uh, I know I've been using this in my shop and in my business for five years, so. Uh, I hope you guys are liking this. Uh, I'm getting a lot of great feedback from people. So uh, if you have any questions, shoot, shoot me an email. It's jake at rooflife.com. Uh, I'd love to get some. I'd also love your pictures and videos that you could send. Uh, and maybe if I really like them, I'll include them on the site. And uh, I'll send you out some free tubes to say thanks. So, all right. Have a great day. Roof on, brothers.